Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this After Effects video, we're gonna create a modern slideshow, mostly looking at some of the techniques in here and how you can build this really quick. There's some amazing techniques in here that's gonna help you build out a very quick you know, intro with modern style techniques or a slideshow or really this technique in general for whatever you're looking to do. Some great techniques in here with titles, uh, with compositing and blending the two clips together and of course these are just a few examples out of the many techniques you can take away from doing the style so if you're looking for further inspiration or if you really need to have a template to help you save time go ahead and check our links in the video description all the previews you're seeing right now are from video hive and they're all pre-made after effects templates that will either help you come up with new ideas or if you're not time crunch you can you know save time with these templates so let's go ahead and jump in this video and let's create something awesome all right, here we are inside of our main composition, and all we have right here is some background footage and just a title in here. And I'm using the typeface Beatbaz Kai. So the first thing we're going to want to do is animate our title. And what's cool about doing a modern slideshow style is that you don't have to animate the entire title. We can animate the last few words because it's going to come in in a unique way from the opening transition. So let's go ahead and let's animate our title first. And we can open up our title. We can come here to animate, and I'm going to add position. And from here, we can increase the Y position. This can move up our entire title, which is fine. Then we're going to come here to the first frame of our timeline. We're going to come here to the uh, range selector, add a keyframe for start. And we'll move forward in time. Go to here to like maybe like a second or so and set it to 100%. And essentially, this is what we have just like this. And let's make that last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And what we need to do it just maybe raises up a little bit more. Then we'll go up to layer pre-compose and we'll call it title one. And from here, we'll grab the rectangle tool. And when this is right down like this, we will draw out a mask around our title just like that. So now our title is just coming in nice and smooth. And that could be the only anima animation we have to do. We can always do other ones within that um, you know, animate tab, but it's really up to you. I think this is a good start. We'll look at some other ones in a second. So the next thing I want to do is add a lens texture or this dust element. You can go into Google and you type in lens texture and you should be able to find something very similar to this, but just adds a little bit more atmosphere to it. So I'm going to add this below our title and where it says the blending mode, I'm going to set this to uh, soft light. And I'm going to of course scale this down because it's a little bit too big. And this has a little bit more texture in it and we don't have to animate it or anything. It just adds some detail in here. Now, if you really want to, you can hit P on your keyboard for position. I'll click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, 0.5 comma 20 close parenthesis. So that's wiggle, open parenthesis, 0.5 comma 20 close parenthesis. And it'll add a little bit of animation with it. And I think that looks fine. So now what I want to do is grab all of our layers, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call it slide one, click OK. And I wanna create a nice transition for this. So what I wanna do here is hit P on my keyboard for position and I'll move forward to about almost a second. We'll add a keyframe here. Go to the first frame here, move this up just like this. And then I'm going to effect stylize CC reptile. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and expand downward and you see it's repeating our image here. And I'm going to set the tiling and of course you can experiment with which one works best for you and you get some really cool options in here and you know I think it's really cool to but I want to do checkered flip V and you see here nice it's a good way to add some extra animation to this and we can always further this a little bit more and we can expand it downward and make sure to turn on motion blur here on the side and turn it on the top and let's make the last keyframe an easy easy keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard and really quick we'll see what we have this is currently what we have here and it's nice you know a nice quick transition onto our title and then we can add another slide here to transition on to the next one and keep this thing fast paced so we got our first title in there we can easily read it time to go on to our next slide and continue to make an awesome slideshow so what I like to do is set up the out transition here so we have this and then right around the two second mark I'm gonna hit S on keyboard for scale and hold down shift R to bring up rotation out of keyframe there as well Move forward here to maybe two and a half seconds and we're going to scale inward and we're going to rotate this by 180 degrees. Okay, and this is simply what we have. And from here, I'll actually expand 
the up part of this clip as well. So boom, we have the entire thing clipped, you know, covered up. And we want to make sure that we don't have any black areas here. So you can just use the reptile effect to expand the edges. Okay, so right here, this is where we're going to transition on our next clip. So that's totally fine. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started on that slide. I'll create a new composition and we'll call it slide two. And we'll bring in our video. All right, so I already have my title in here and we need to animate our main title. So we'll go ahead and explore some other options in here. So we're going to animate. We'll do, you know, a tracking property. So we can have it tracked in like this and we'll also add a scale. So from here, we can just track it out and we can scale this down to be really small. So I won't even go to 0%, but we can keep it if we want. And we'll come here to the range selector. Same thing, add a keyframe for start. Move forward to almost a second and we'll set this to 100%. And that's cool. And we can also add, and also we can add a opacity if you want to. And we can set this down to 0%. So then, you know, that's totally fine. Comes in just like that. And I think that's a cool way to animate this in here. So once again, we can also add that, you know, dust texture. You can add a new one if you want to. I'm going to keep it the same. So now that we're set up here, let's go back into our main composition. We'll go ahead and bring in slide two from our project window. Bring it over here. We'll move it over in time. Start right at that time code. So what's happening here is that this is completely upside down. So we want this clip to be upside down. So what we're going to do is hit S on our keyboard and R on our keyboard for scale and rotation. We'll add keyframe for both of these. We'll move them forward in time by almost a second. And we'll rotate this to negative 180 degrees. So we don't want to keep it a positive 180 degrees. We want negative 180 because we want this to be in the same general motion. You see that it's going to continue to follow that suit. And then just like that, perfect. And of course, we'll scale into this, this a little bit off the start. And then the only thing we need to do from here is just add that CC reptile effect. I'll just copy it from the previous slide. We'll paste it in there. And boom. And of course, make sure to turn on motion blur for the clip. And let's make the first keyframes here easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9. And the last keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick RAM preview of what we have. All right, and after a quick render, here's currently what we have. And there's a lot of different styles that we can do with this, you know. But essentially, the transition is all about the same thing. So you don't have to do the rotation. You can do like a position from left to right with the CC reptile effect. So the possibilities are very good for this effect and you can build out a long slideshow with titles and you know clips to help you enhance what you're looking to do. But but overall, these techniques will help you do a great modern slideshow style. And of course, remember to check our links in the video description because those will provide you with hundreds of examples so you can create your own you know work unique from this tutorial or if you're looking to save time you can go ahead and pick those templates up but thank you so much for watching this video and hope you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like on it because it helps me out tremendously subscribe to our youtube channel for more after effects videos we post about two to three after effects tutorials a week hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating